What's good, YouTube? Navi Boy 92 here, back again, once again. And today, people, today, I need to look at the camera, not the screen. Goddamn. But no, that's what I'm doing too. <laughs> <laughs> we are back for week number eight. Eight weeks we've been doing this. Two motherfucking what? months. Niggas. Two months of WAFB. Twit, as you can see, Twits here. I ain't even got to introduce mm -hmm. him. I think I pointed the right direction. I didn't. It's over there. But still. And this nigga always on my, it's on your left side. It's on your left side, goddamn nigga. Shut the fuck up. Man. I got it right last week. What the fuck you talking about? Look at this about? big ass plane, here. though. You Look at that here. shit. Look how big I right. fucking Anyways, plane. anyways, yes. anyways. <laughs> our guest <laughs> this week, go ahead and introduce yourself. Let the people know who you are. What is up? These niggas will hold me back. <laughs> um, thanks for having me on, Nappy and Twit Twit. And yeah, pleasure to be on. I think that was the best intro we've had yet. These niggas can't hold me These back. These niggas will be back. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we got gifted on the podcast this week. This is Black History Month Comes Early Part 2. Part 1 was Legend of Gamer. When when Black History Month rolls around, we're going to have a new guest. Oh, it's it's going to go hard, too. A dude motherfucking dick every single week go to podcast, but... <laughs> Oh, yeah. uh, we figured we figured we'd do a relaxed, laid back podcast this week and just just talk about where the fuck we came from on YouTube, how we how we got to where we are now, basically. I guess is the Man. best way to say it. It was our moms and dads of YouTube. You feel me? <laughs> that ain't what I said, but yeah. So, <laughs> so, so, <laughs> gifted. If you want to go ahead, kick it off. Let us know. Let us know how you got into YouTube, why you started, where you came from, all that shit. All right. Um. How I got into YouTube, I have no idea. I used to play Xbox, and my friends had it in their description. I was like, oh, you know, what's YouTube? And uh, I don't know. It just looked fun. They were uploading some crazy stuff. And then for Christmas, I asked my mom to buy a PVR. <laughs> and I got that started out. No, actually, I got a Dazzle thinking it was a PVR. And listen to this story. I was going to return it because everyone was like, no, Dazzle sucks. I lost the receipt, so... It's actually like right next to me. I just have a dazzle, and then you know I got the PBR because that's like what you should get if you're gonna record HD. And um, I started out watching um, Wings of Redemption, uh, Woody's Gamer Tag, X Jaws, all those people who started out, you know, first all that. Uh, first. Blame true. Yeah, first. <laughs> and um, now I'm here on a podcast with two black people. <laughs> Two niggas. Yeah. God damn. So for me, when I started YouTube, I, I didn't even like I I kind of planned it, but then it didn't happen the way I wanted it to. For like a year and a half I watched Only Use Me Blade. Mm -hmm. I before I even had a YouTube account. This nigga was dedicated. Didn't even have a YouTube account. <laughs> I don't I don't even remember how I found him. Like I think I might have found a Chris Move video and then Blade was like in the in the the what the fuck is it Blade. called? Related videos. I call it responses every single time, but related videos. And I think I clicked on a Blade video, so technically, I guess Chris Smooth was the first one I watched. But um, Blade, I just started watching this shit, and it, it got to the point where it was like he slowly replaced Netflix. I know that sounds <laughs> kind of sad, but he slowly replaced Netflix. And I started watching like two or three videos a night. And before you know it, I had most of his videos that he had at the time watched. I haven't watched him religiously like that in a while, but... Um, and then out of nowhere, one day, I just, like, up and went out and bought a Dazzle. For no reason. Like, it wasn't because of Blade. It wasn't because he put out a video talking about how to start YouTube. It was just, I bought a Dazzle. And yeah, I was so like, Nappy can make uh, search and destroy videos on how to wait and not spawn in and see if your team was good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember that video. No, I made a video. I made oh, a that video. tracks me the I made fuck a video where I, so I did a video. I said it was Modern Warfare 2 because that's when I started doing YouTube. Mm -hmm. And I said, I hate it so much when you spawn into a game and you have like 14 Harriers in the air and you just get your ass wrecked. People, <laughs> stop before you go in. Look at the scoreboard. If you're getting your ass wrecked, <laughs> leave the game. See, see, see if your team is winning. Winning. If your team's winning, then maybe you can go in. But if they're not winning by a lot, you might just want to back out. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. That video cracks me up, dude. Oh my god. That anyway, video. I will never forget that. <laughs> anyways, yeah, I went out and bought a dazzle for no reason. I didn't touch it for like eight months. It literally sat in the box under my bed. Yep. I might have opened it once and looked at it. I was like, this is dumb. It's so confusing. And I just put it away. Didn't touch it. Then we moved down here to Arizona for whatever reason. Maybe I was unpacking it or whatnot, and I just opened it and plugged in and made a video. 
and post it on YouTube, and it's been that way ever since. That's all it was. And the whole fucking intro. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't still use the uh, I use the natural. The whole intro, the whole the what's good YouTube intro, that kind of just fell into place too. Like <clears throat> I think if I go back, it's like my tenth video or something is when I first I, I just said okay, what's good YouTube? Nappy one ninety two here, back again once again. And I guess I said it like three weeks in a row. Okay. Okay. I guess I said it like three weeks in a row, and then the fourth week I didn't say it, and someone commented, "You didn't say your intro." And I, was like, <laughs> I don't have an intro, dude. But then it just got yes, I do now. crazier and crazier from there to the whole big "What's Good" YouTube thing now. So, bam, yeah. there it is, nigga. Nice. All right, my turn. Um, <clears throat> let's see. I started watching. I'm not even gonna. I, like, I don't even feel like y'all talking shit about me for the first people I subscribe to. So I ain't gonna fucking talk about that. But anyway, because I know that has something to say about it. But anyway, um, <laughs> I mean, I won't lie. I'm sitting here cheesing because I'm gonna pull a video out that from one of your old videos too in a minute. But go ahead, keep going. <laughs> all right, fuck it. I'll go. I'll, I'll talk about who I, who I was first subscribed to. All right. So uh, back in the day, I used to watch I Justine. <clears throat> okay. Before I actually had an account. Before I actually had an account, that was just it was just I was on YouTube one day. I don't even know or remember what I was doing, but I just clicked on her video because her her thumbnails were intriguing, and I was like I don't know young, and so I clicked on the thumbnail. I was like, oh okay, she's kind of cool. She's kind of funny. I like these. Um. So <laughs> then. I and then like I used to go back like Nappy was saying for like the longest time I didn't have a YouTube account I would just sign into U- YouTube and search her name and go watch a video I that I hadn't have seen. a YouTube account but I would sign into YouTube <laughs> I mean not not sign in. I would go on YouTube I would type in YouTube.com and then search her name I didn't have an account yet but anyway uh, so then I made an account I was like whoa it's way easier to like see all her videos this way because they show up and everything so I made an account uh, I did that and it actually wasn't Twitterification was actually not my first account wait uh, Twitter, I've been on YouTube since like long huh? long I let's see. I made this account in 2009, and this was in 07, I think. 07. So, 7, 8, yeah. 9, 10, 11, 12. Twitterfication. Thirsty since 07. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. All right. Anyway. No, but um, what I ended up doing was I, I made an account. I was like, okay, cool. This is you know it's awesome, whatever. And then I, I started seeing other people like after – uh, uh I, I just seen the first gaming person that I ever watched was Junkyard 129 and I was fucking I mean I was amazed like he was the only person that I ever watched for I mean he was the only person I watched for about six or eight months and I was like dude this is so cool you can like watch gameplays and I used to think he was so fucking good at Call of Duty like I, I mean like look at my face now right um but anyway, I used to think he was, like, just the greatest player ever. And I was like, oh, my God, like, this is so cool. I want to, like, do the same thing he's doing. And I remember sending Junkyard a message. I was like, hey, bro, if you want to uh, play or whatever, I don't know how you, like, uh, blah, 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 this, this. And I went back, like, a couple a couple weeks ago and found the message. Like, I still have it in my inbox from when I sent it. And, I, and he, like replied like literally like 20 minutes later i was like whoa bro you're like so big and popular and i can't believe you replied to me i appreciate it blah blah blah. maybe we can play one day uh blah, blah, blah. this is so i mean that was how i started that like i originally got started but uh in 09 was when i made my my gaming channel Same and i was sh- his whole life story no, right I'm, now. Just, I'm just telling you but anyway i closed i closed the the other channel i had i don't even remember the name of it um, I closed the other channel, and that's when I really got into like watching gaming videos and stuff. And it was like Junkyard 129, Next, Next Gen Tactics, because back in the day, all I played was Free for All and fucking Search and Destroy and Modern Warfare 2. So I watched a lot of Next Gen Tactics because they had the so, like they had the best Search and Destroy videos ever, and well at the time they did. And, and I was like, man, this is really awesome. I want to do the same thing. So it took me like fucking six months <laughs> to find to finally get enough money to $79 because I didn't have a job at the time. It took me like six months to get $79 and I finally got that money. I went and bought me a, uh, a Dazzle and to this day I, st- I still have my Dazzle too. It's my SD PBR. Um, I still to this day <laughs> I still to this day have it and I was so excited bro. So excited. I mean I was I was playing and and and, uh, and rendering videos and all this shit on a on a dual I mean on a single core processor Intel Celeron 900 used to take like 13 hours to render a 6 minute video. It was bad, nigga. And I didn't even have internet. Like, I, we didn't even have internet at, at our house because my mom turned it off and shit. I don't know, all this blah, blah, blah. And so I used to, like, use my neighbor's internet, which was really good, but not uh, for... I remember that shit. I remember yeah. being on Skype when I first met Twit, and I was like, dude, your internet sucks. He's like, it's my neighbor's internet, yo. Yeah. And I'm <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> 
remember, I remember back when uh, for, when I first met Country, I, you know, I checked out Country's channel. I won that little giveaway thing for sixteen hundred Microsoft points, and I remember he called. He was he was telling me on Skype. He was like, "Yo." Um, you know, I want to get in a call. I want to do a little video with you. And it was like that conversation took like three and a half hours because I had to sit on the corner of my bed in the perfect little position with my laptop like this and type bam, bam, bam. And then if I moved, it would just drop the Internet completely. So it was just like he would send me a message. My Internet would go out like an hour later. I come back I'm like, OK, bro, like that. And, so, and then when I met Nappy, it was the same way. Like my Internet was just bad. But I guess he like moved his router around and shit. I, it was crazy. It was crazy. But he used to take me about. Uh, it took me like 300 and something minutes to upload a video on a regular basis. Like, I, it, was, it was crazy. It was fucking crazy. Um, All right, the- stop, stop, stop. Motherfucker, take a breath. Shit. Um, <laughs> um, okay, so Twit want to call me out one of my old videos. The, <laughs> oh, first, the first video I ever saw from Twit, he was putting some control together, some blue neon shit, whatever. But I remember going back through Twit's videos. I don't know if he still has it live now. And he was doing some unboxing of like a computer or some shit or some kitchen scissors. And like he you- had like a pink ass <laughs> tablecloth, like it was bright no, 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 pink no, no, and everything. No, I had pink scissors. I had pink scissors. It suspect. was suspect. It was pink something. Pink. Something just like just like if you just said suspect, nigga. You As a matter of fact, playing Xena, listening to Drake. I, now you got pink, pink scissors and shit. Right here, they were on my desk. I used them this morning when I made that fucking origami dragon. Fuck you! I don't care what you say. Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna sh- no fucking. I'm not gonna show you that thing. But anyway, yeah, it was these pink scissors that I cut the the, the top of the box open. I even had an annotation that said "LOL pink scissors" or "like for pink scissors" or some shit like that. Hmm. Yeah. Is that bit still up? But anyway, you? say what? Is that bit still up? Yeah, it's still up. Oh, I be- it's my. It's the very first video I ever uploaded to YouTube. I'm gonna watch it after this. <laughs> it was, a, it was the first thing I ever did. I ever uploaded. I recorded on my Envy phone. I even had like I didn't know how to edit videos or do anything. This is before I got into the gaming side because I used to see people like unbox shit all the time, and um and I I didn't know how to like edit videos or anything. But I know I had a pause button on my camera on my phone, so I would be like I'd be like okay, so we're gonna cut this open. Block. I'll be right back. Pause. Yeah. I'd go do the shit. Come back. Bam. So it'd be like I was like cutting the video up and shit. I was like oh this is awesome. This looks great. But um, yeah. So anyway, moving on, moving on. Uh, I I ended up purchasing my PV, purchasing my PVR. I don't even remember when, but uh, from there it just it just like all took off for me, and it was fun. And now I'm sitting here with these two niggas to try to hold me back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so Twit's one story took as long as it took for me and Gifted to both tell off. <laughs> so, but anyway, I've been my story is I've been here for a long ass fucking time. You've been creeping for a long ass fucking time. Don't even have an account watching I Just Seen. I Just Seen. Mm. <laughs> creeping for a couple of years now. Look, now all these kids are like, I Just Seen, I think I know. Damn, I know who she is. <laughs> all that hair. God, so bright. You know. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> enough enough for your jib jabbing like a jibbity box in the game. Boom, look at that flame. Uh, all right, so what's one thing that you've done so far on YouTube that you regret doing? That it, it may not it may not have been like a huge thing. It may have just been something for you personally. What's one thing that you would have been like, you know what? I might not have that might not have been the best decision ever, you know? Who's up first? You. Well, this happened the <laughs> other this was like three weeks ago. You Twi, you probably saw this. That video of me <laughs> rubbing my nipples. <laughs> <laughs> I did a <laughs> I did a video like messing with like girl gamers who do vlogs and all of that. And I got on there, I was rubbing my nipples, I was like, subscribe. <laughs> and I got a strike for it. This nigga. They gave me a they gave me a strike. My subs were like, gifted, I'm unsubbing you. I don't wanna see your nipples. All of this and You got a that strike. That was probably the worst thing. That's fucking yep. awesome. That is awesome. And there's how they're twerking videos on YouTube, but me rubbing my right nipple gets me a strike. <laughs> <laughs> now, everybody, if you don't know what twerking is, UrbanDictionary.com. Oh, God. If I you don't have know what the fuck Urban Dictionary, just type it into YouTube. Go find a video. <laughs> I just did something wrong now. I just told kids what twerking. Oh, man. <laughs> that's the second thing i regret and uh <laughs> thank my mom for being here with me and supporting me through these hard times <laughs> God oh. damn. Yeah. all right you want me to go you want me to go okay <clears throat> um the one thing i think i'd have to regret is um buying a dazzle was yeah 
was the probably the thing I would the regret the most. And that's what I tell everybody nowadays is like, if you if it took you you know if it didn't take you very long to save the money to buy a Dazzle, just wait a couple more weeks or a couple more months and just buy PVR, dude, or buy whatever yeah. HD capture thing now because it saves you money in the long run. People are gonna come check out your channel a lot more because you can fucking. It's HD gameplay. Nobody, I don't care, even if they're your fucking best friend and shit, no one wants, wants to watch a video in shitty quality, period. Basically. Even if nobody watches it in 720p, 360p with the PVR looks a goddamn hell of a lot better than 360p from a Dazzle. So that's my that's my advice for anybody that's not that hasn't started posting videos or whatever that wants to. Don't get a don't get a Roxio game capture, don't get a fucking Dazzle, don't get any of that shit. HD PVR, PVR2, Elgato, Black Magic Intensity, if your if you can if your computer can do it, just stay away from that like standard definition shit. Just it's not it, it's not worth the money. It really isn't. So Yeah. Cause I think I would have had I would have had a, a lot different I think I feel that I would have had a lot different turnout for my channel had I started with HD gameplay. But I mean you gotta keep you gotta keep in mind when we started our channels and where we're at now in the community, there's two entirely different times. You know, back yeah. then there back then there were a lot more people that had dazzles it, i know but that's what i'm saying now like if if you would have talked if, like, if you would talk me talk to me like when i first started or right when i got my pvr i would been like yeah you know definitely get a dazzle if you don't have the money for it or whatever because and the other way i look at it is if you really want to post videos okay you have the 70 dollars that you're willing to blow right now on a dazzle if you can wait three or four however much longer it takes you to get it 200 dollars, and you still want to post videos that means that you want to do it so that it would be money worthwhile spending basically that's that's the way i look at it so yeah, but like, but I mean, like you said, back in the day, everybody had Dazzle except for people that were, uh, you know, in the big ranks back then. So if you would ask me back then, yeah, Dazzle would have been a good idea. But nowadays, nah, don't fuck, fuck the Dazzle, bro. Yeah, Dazzle's not the way to go. For me, the one thing I regret, and I think a lot of people can relate to it, um, I got a dead ass channel, and I <clears> did it myself, and I know the exact moment when it happened. Um. I want to say it was like a year ago, like this past September. I was at that point where my channel was growing. It was like we were coming right off the right off all the pub from all night to it. Because mm-hmm. I mean, it was still it was still kind of hot. You know, people were still listening to it. I had a couple people tweet out the link or whatever. I didn't I didn't get that many subs off of it either. But I mean, it was still a lot of people were still talking about us over. Everybody it. loving that shit now though. And um, I remember I got to the point where my channel I had like. 1500 subs or something and I was pulling like five six hundred views a video and I was like this is fucking awesome decent views everything I'm loving this and then um like for whatever reason the views started like they might have slipped or maybe I was getting greedy or something and I had that mindset of hey I'm gonna leave this video up for a couple more days and let it get some more views shit's gonna be amazing I'm gonna get even more views on my video but then it got to the point where I was leaving videos up for like six days Without mm. posting anything. And I was like, what the fuck am I doing? And when I started posting again, that's when everything went downhill. <clears throat> and it's been downhill ever since then. So shit like that. Decisions that at the time I thought were good. And now I look back. Shouldn't have done that shit. Like my Mirror's Edge Let's Play. At the time I was like, yeah, fuck Call of Duty. I'm going to do this. <laughs> do this. Now I look back. I'm like, I should have never done that. Because I just fucking... Help kill Are you talking about? Yeah, you're talking about a couple months ago when you took a, or like two or three months ago you took a little break or whatever. Is that what you're talking about? What? No. Or the, or like a while back. No, the whole thing about me like leaving videos up that was a year ago. Oh, okay. I Mirror's Edge was this like past January. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> like that. Just, just little things like that, that. At the time, I thought there was the, it was the greatest <clears throat> idea in the world, but now it's just, what the fuck was I thinking when I did that yeah. shit? Yeah. So, oh, what you gonna do? <laughs> anyways, anyways, you just gotta deal with it, move on. Speaking of moving on, where do you see, like, where do you ultimately see yourself with YouTube? I think we can end up wrapping this up with that one. Where do you ultimately see yourself at YouTube? Mm, you mean like subwise, like all that? I mean, anything. like, what's something that you want to accomplish? Like, one thing that you really well, have maybe, set. maybe you could say accomplish or any of that stuff. But I mean, like, where <clears> do you, based off of your actions so far and what you're doing right now, where do you see yourself going with YouTube? And I guess where do you see it all ending? Um, I don't know. I post, you know, Call of Duty, like, you know, the good gameplays, whatever. But if if Black Ops Two is doesn't go, you know, good for me or whatever, I'm probably just gonna 
switch my channel, like do a 360. If it goes dead, it goes dead. But I, I want to get into, you know, like comedy, trolling, all of that. But, <laughs> you know, I don't know. YouTube, I don't think it'll die out, though. I mean, people are on YouTube every day. It's crazy. And <clears throat> as for sub gain, you know, I'm growing good and right now or whatever. But I don't look at it like that. I just upload when I can, you know. But my main accomplishment was getting, you know, a partnership and then hitting 10,000 subscribers. I, I almost jizzed when I hit 10K subs. Like, <laughs> I, I, I saw five digits, and I, I just went nuts. But... <laughs> And These then niggas can't hold me back. These yeah. niggas can't hold me back. I, I, that was my theme song. I, I was telling them. <laughs> I don't know, but YouTube is fun. I mean, it, I recommend doing it. If you just have some free time, all of that. YouTube, and you meet a I lot of cool it. people. <laughs> if you black and ain't got a job, do YouTube is what he's saying. Yeah. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Buy those double cheeseburgers. <laughs> I don't know. It's fun. I don't think I'll be doing it, you know freaking when i'm 35 though <laughs> you're not gonna pull a thunderstruck hell no <laughs> wings are redemption <laughs> so uh, all right twit where do you uh, see where do you see the legacy of twitterfication ending um first of all when you said you want to turn your channel around i think you meant to say 180 instead of 360 because 360 would put you in the same spot but anyway that's oh. why i was laughing at your story <laughs> 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 that anyway uh <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I mean, as far as an end, I don't really see an end unless the only time I would stop doing YouTube is if I was physically or like, like I was not able to do it, whether like that yeah. be because like I moved away or like I decided to follow some shit like, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know. Just like do something that has no, like I don't have time for YouTube, period. Um, but as far as like, you know, what I see, like, like little accomplish, accomplishments and stuff like that, like, just like Gift has said, it's just fun, man. I, I have, like, a fucking, yeah. I just have a lot of fun doing it. Like, it's it's been an experience, and it'll continue to be an experience that is, like, no other. Like, I, you're not going to go somewhere else and get an experience like you will fucking yeah. on YouTube, bro. It's, it's yeah, not going to happen. a lot of stuff on YouTube. <laughs> yep. Yep. Yeah, indeed. And um, it's like, I don't, I don't know. The one thing, the, okay, hold on, hold on. The whole thing with experience and everything, I want to say this before we, before we move on to anything else or forget it. Um, the whole thing, I see this all the time. People say, you know, you get so much so much public speaking skills with YouTube, and it's so much easier to do this and that. I'm like, no, you don't. No, you don't. You you post a video, and I don't care if a million yeah, people see it. You're not talking to a million people right now. You're talking to your snowball microphone from your computer. So don't sit here and tell me that YouTube videos helps your drama class get better or your public speaking class, whatever. No, fuck I that. Won't, I won't say it helped public speaking, but I think it helped me figure out <laughs> i'm about to say help me kind of figure out how to get my thoughts across easier but <laughs> as i'm sitting here like uh it, it uh it uh does now um it helped me like just formulate things and just picture things in a different way than i used to i can i can definitely say that like since posting videos and stuff like that but as far yeah. as like public speaking like i'm not about to get up in front of five thousand fucking people and, and say hell a goddamn no. word like no there ain't no way in hell but um i mean i don't know like i was saying the only time i would really see it ending is if i was physically unable to do it because it doesn't matter really what happens like i'm still gonna play games like till for like the rest of my life period i mean that's like one thing that's like people say you you know once you ride a bike you don't you don't forget how to ride a bike it's like you play games you can't just stop playing games like or, or that's gonna be like fucking trying to quit smoking or some shit like it's, it's not gonna happen really easily unless you yep. physically cannot do it so that's just me that's how i that's how i see it um some of y'all kids out there are dumb and like to twist words. Twit's not endorsing smoking. Because I know no, one of y'all motherfuckers no, is going to leave that in the comment section. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. Twit, I started no, smoking because of you. to smoke cigarettes. <laughs> I started smoking because of you. I wanted to see how hard it would be to stop. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess it wouldn't be a good thing if I would, bam, look at that flame again. Because I have like 15 lighters. I don't even, I don't smoke though. So. Twit's over here with Twit. lighters everywhere. Talking like, don't, <laughs> don't, don't, bro, don't smoke, bro. Don't smoke, man. Don't do that. It's bad. But not really. That's, I was not endorsing that at all. So, when it comes to me and quitting YouTube, I don't see. I don't know. I think because of Yaush and a whole whole bunch of other things, I think that YouTube itself is gonna be uh, in so one way or another. Where it's whether it's me like producing content or me just like I said being a part of Yaush, helping other people with their channels and stuff. I don't see me leaving YouTube for 
at least like the next 10 years at least unless unless some amazing opportunity that came along that just blew youtube out of the water mm-hmm. yeah. i don't see it ever ever ending to be honest with you it's i think um whack 4863 said it best in one of his brutal truths he said even if you start youtube there is no finish line mm-hmm. there's no point where you can say all right i'm done preach <laughs> I mean, you can have goals and whatever, but I mean, if if you set a goal, like Gifted said, he he like he loved it when he hit 10k. I'm sure Gifted wants to hit 20k. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, it's it never ends. You can always yeah. do something more. You're not just so. like, oh, I hit 10k, I'm done. <laughs> close channel. Yeah, close channel now. I'm out. That's so. it, one thing that I don't understand about people that quit YouTube is like some some of these people they just quit for the stupidest shit. Like, if you get, if you've been on the internet, if you know anything about computers, you know that you're going to run into some fucking jackass people on the internet. And if you quit because you get some mean comments, come on now. Come on. You you shouldn't even be on it. Yeah, like, just that, that, that shit makes me, that makes me mad. Especially successful channels, too. Dudes got fucking 200K subs, like, oh, I got called a fat ass the other day. I'm going to close my channel. (laughs) Oh no! Like, shut the fuck up, bro. Like, you're making gaming videos, and, and especially people that are partnered. God damn, you fucking making money playing video games and posting video games on, on the internet. Like, stop fucking complaining, bro. Just exactly. Just stop. Just stop bitching. Hey, I but. get six million views a week, but fuck these sub boxes, yeah, yo. Fuck, man. What the <laughs> fuck, dude? Yeah. It's ridiculous. Anyways, but, anyway. There you go. I thought you were gonna say okay, something, but. Okay. Anyways, let's go ahead, wrap it up, get the fuck out of here. Let's let's stick to WPT instead of CPT and not be late. <laughs> okay, white people time, not the color people time. That's what he was saying for all you white people. That <laughs> so go ahead, y'all, y'all niggas, say your salutations and shit. Let's get the fuck out of here. All right, well, before I let Gifted t- take us out like we do every week, be sure to check the links down below. All the annotations on, on the screen. He said it's bottom left, so down there. Nigga, nigga, do you have do you have a preview of your video <laughs> up? No, 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 I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it. Actually, no, no, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's, that's look Gene's. At the preview, if you look right, at the preview, that's how it's going to appear on the screen. I got you, nigga. Let's go. So okay, point to fine. that corner. Right, anyway, so that corner down there, I'm looking at myself in the camera right now. Check out the links, everything annotations. I appreciate you guys checking out. appreciate you guys checking out. WAFB podcast and uh, let him take us out of now. Peace. Uh, no, go ahead. Go ahead. You can oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was over. All right. Well, um, thanks for having me on Nappy and Twit. This has been gifted, and these niggas can't hold me back. <laughs> All right, y'all. With that, we're out this motherfucker. Ow.